In this video, I'll show you how you can use a PDF as a pop-up in your Captivate project. So I got a message from one of my clients, John, who was hoping to have a PDF as a pop-up on his Adobe Captivate project or within his Adobe Captivate project. So what he wants is to be able to click a button the PDF appears as a pop-up and then there's another button that closes the PDF and returns them back to the Captivate slide. And I'm going to do one better. I'm going to actually show you how you can make this particular PDF pop-up appear from any location within your e-learning project. So let's get started here. The first thing we need is we need a background for our PDF pop-up. And I'm just going to use a shape, a rectangle, and I'm roughly going to draw it on my slide here. In this example, I'm using a, a default smart shape style that is completely transparent. So we'll just make that 100%. I'm going to use a background image that I have in mind that includes the exit icon to close the PDF down. So we're going to go to fill and change that to image fill. And I already have this in my library, but you can prepare a similar image that has an X icon in the upper right hand corner of the image and apply that to your slide here. And it's tiled to the upper right hand corner. That's why you're seeing a second um, X icon. I chose an image that was at least as large as my project, so I don't need to worry about it tiling extra copies of that X icon. So in this case, it's good to go. I'm going to add a shadow effect to it just to give it a little bit more of a 3D effect. I've increased the blur to 40 and the opacity to 60. And I think that looks pretty good there. I'm going to hide some of the other objects on the slide here so that we're just seeing the pop up for right now. And again, we're going to set the duration of this for the rest of the project. Make sure to select place object on top. And we're also going to use this object as a button. So I'm going to select use as button. I'm not going to worry about the action just yet. I am going to uncheck pause after 1.5 seconds though. While I'm here, I'm going to go into state view. I don't need a rollover or a down state. So I'm simply going to delete those and get rid of those entirely there. The other piece of my pop-up is the PDF itself. So we're going to click on objects and web to create this web object that is also part of the pop-up here. But instead of pointing at a web address, we're going to select our job aid, which happens to be a PDF. It could be a multi-page job aid, could be whatever. In this case here, it's just a one pager that's related to this course. So we're going to open that up. You won't see a preview of it unless you actually preview in browser, but this should work quite nicely here. So I'm just going to place this and have it uh, fill most of this area here. So that looks good to me. We'll make sure that both of these objects, the background and the PDF are centered. And I'm going to group these together. So we're going to call them uh, PDF pop-up. The default view will be not visible in output. So we'll hide it from the very beginning here. Let's go back to our timeline and we'll show everything. And then I'll just hide that pop-up right there. So again, the job aid button is going to be what activates that. We're going to have that also appear for the rest of the project. You just got to make sure that you don't put anything in the same spot, but it's a good idea to also place the object on top so that it's in front of everything else there. So I think this works well. I think we've got everything in place. We just need to write our actions for the job aid itself. And we can do this in a number of different ways. I prefer using advanced actions because I can control the playing and the pausing of my slides. So I'm just going to write two little very simple advanced actions. We'll start creating a new one here and we'll call this PDF open. 
and we will show our grouped object, which is called PDF Popup. We'll save that as an action, click OK, and now I'll create a new one called PDF Close. And we will simply hide our grouped object in this case here, PDF Popup. Save that as an action, click OK, and click Close. So, Job 8, we're going to go to the Actions tab in our Properties Inspector and make sure that we are pointing at PDF Open. Okay, and let's make our pop up visible again for a moment. And we just need to select the portion that is the background image there. And the success action will be to execute advanced actions and we will call this PDF close. We'll select that one there. Notice too that my web object is not displayed for the rest of the project. So I'll quickly correct that rest of project. I think we're good to go. Let's test this out and see how it looks. So here's my title slide. We'll go to begin and we'll press job aid. And there's our job aid. We can download it if we wish and we can even print it out. And of course we have a page preview here as well. This may differ slightly from one web browser to the other, but this is a great way to include supplemental or optional content. And of course, now that I'm finished reading it or printing it, I can close that and return back to my e-learning course. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.